Many people here in the United States and across the world are taking a class known as ACE inhibitors. This class, which ends in pril, like lisinopril, so any medication that ends in pril is an ACE inhibitor. So if you have this in your cabinet, you are taking one of these classes. But why exactly are you taking ACE inhibitors and why are so many people on it? We know that diabetics tend to be on this class even if they don't have high blood pressure. Today, I'm going to talk about all the benefits of ACE inhibitors, why we want diabetics to take ACE inhibitors, and exactly what it does for you. Please be aware that my video is not sponsored. This is simply for educational purposes. Before we get started, my name is Diana Butucci. I'm a board-certified APRN here in the United States. It is my passion to teach and educate all of you so we can beat diabetes together. Please consider subscribing to my channel, share this video, and always comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. So what are ACE inhibitors that everyone is talking about? This class is also known as angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, such as lisinopril that I mentioned earlier, and they're a class of medications commonly used to treat conditions like high blood pressure, known as hypertension, and heart failure. They work by blocking the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, which is a substance that constricts blood vessels and raises blood pressure. When we stop the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, we actually relax the blood vessels, which reduces blood pressure and improves the overall function of the heart. So we always want to protect our heart whenever we can, and this is exactly how ACE inhibitors work. So now you're wondering, well, why are diabetics taking ACE inhibitors, even in cases when they don't have high blood pressure? We know that people with diabetes, unfortunately, are at higher risk for cardiovascular disease things like heart disease and kidney problems. Over the years, the studies do show the ACE inhibitors actually protect the heart and the kidneys. For that reason, a lot of people who are diabetics will be on this class of medication to try to protect the heart and the kidneys as much as possible. Let's dive into that just a little bit more so you can understand exactly what this class is doing for you. The number one reason why ACE inhibitors are preferred in patients with diabetes is because we want to control blood pressure. Believe it or not, 60 to 80 percent of people with type 2 diabetes actually have high blood pressure as well. So it's safe to say the majority of people with type 2 diabetes struggle and suffer with high blood pressure. So why not use a medication that can actually help lower their blood pressure and also protect other organs like the heart and the kidneys. Obviously, it's common sense that we would want to do both. If we're going to use a medication, might as well use the medication that's going to protect your organs as well and also lower that blood pressure so we can keep your blood pressure under control. When we lower the pressure, we actually put less strain on the heart. We know that the heart is a pump and what it does is it pumps blood to the rest of the body. We need the heart. It's a pretty important organ. For that reason, we want to make sure we're protecting it and that we're not putting a lot of strain on the heart. So when we control the blood pressure, we actually help protect our heart so that the heart can continue to pump effectively without having so much strain on it. The second reason why ACE inhibitors are so beneficial is because they can actually have cardioprotective effects. That's right. They can help protect your heart even if they're not lowering your blood pressure. Sometimes you might not need lowering of your blood pressure. Of course, I said 60 to 80% of diabetics have high blood pressure. That still leaves 20% that don't or 40% that don't. With that being said, even for those people who don't have high blood pressure, the studies show that ACE inhibitors can actually protect your heart independent of their blood pressure lowering effects. This can help prevent or manage conditions such as left ventricular dysfunction and heart failure. Unfortunately, we know that a lot of diabetics have heart failure or end up developing heart failure, so we want to do everything that we can to prevent that from happening. The third reason is renal protective effects. We know that diabetes is the leading cause of kidney disease in the world today. You heard it right. The number one reason why people have kidney disease is diabetes. ACE inhibitors actually help protect your kidneys. ACE inhibitors have shown to slow the progression of diabetic kidney disease by reducing the pressure within the kidneys and minimizing protein loss in the urine. You may be familiar that every time you go and get blood work done, we usually want a urine test. We're actually checking for protein in the urine 
to make sure that you're not leaking protein. Normally, protein should stay inside your body, not outside. We should not be leaking protein in the urine. Whenever we are, that's an indicator that the kidneys are being affected. And sometimes we will actually initiate this class of medication at that point to help slow the progression and to slow the protein release from through the urine. The whole point of that really is because we want to make sure that we're protecting the kidneys and that the kidneys, the nephrons of the kidneys are not being damaged with proteins leaking through. It's a little bit more complex than that, but that is the only way I can simplify it so you can understand why exactly this class is so important with people who have diabetes. Fourth reason is that ACE inhibitors can actually prevent microvascular complications. Studies do show that ACE inhibitors may also help prevent or delay some microvascular complications that are associated with diabetes, such as diabetic retinopathy, which is unfortunately vision loss. And with that being said, the leading cause of blindness right now in the United States and world is actually diabetes. For that reason, we want to make sure we're doing everything that we can, that we can control the pressures and we can stop the bleeding in the vessels behind the eye so we can protect our eyes. Therefore, ACE inhibitors are actually very beneficial and they have a lot of benefits for people with diabetes because they not only help lower blood pressure, but they protect the heart, the kidneys, and our eyes as well, amongst other things. Be mindful, however, not one shoe fits all. Some people cannot tolerate this class of medication. Commonly, some people will have a chronic cough with this class of medication amongst many other possible side effects, which I'm not going to go into. Sometimes we can also have electrolyte imbalance and be mindful if you are in this class of medication, your kidneys should be monitored on a regular basis. I mean, they should be monitored anyways. So you want to be sure that if you are taking this class or any other medication, you're being followed closely by your doctor, that they're monitoring your blood levels the way that they should. You're working very hard and staying well hydrated. And of course, you're staying as active as you can and just keeping a positive mindset is always the key. Please let me know if you've had any experience with the ACE inhibitors. Any medication that ends in Pril is going to be your ACE inhibitor. So let me know and comment below. I will see you all on the next video.